everyone! We have been adding a lot of new notes to our repertoire and um, this week I want to talk a little bit about how we put all those notes together in a measure. So in the beginning of music, a lot of times you're going to see one of these time signatures and the one that we're going to focus on today is 4-4. Four, four. Whenever you have these two numbers stacked together on top of each other in the front of your musical song, um, the top note is going to tell us the number of beats per measure. So in this case, we would have four beats in every measure. The bottom note, or the bottom number, is the one that tells you what is actually getting the beat. In this case, a four stands for quarter note. So this tells me there are four beats in every measure and the quarter note is getting the beat. So every measure should add up to four quarter notes, which four quarter notes all together would equal a whole note. So let's look at it in a pizza form since we were talking about pizza last week. This would be my whole pizza. And this is the new note that we learned last week, the whole note. It is the whole pizza. But what if I take my pizza and I cut it in half? So if I take four and I cut it in half, I should have two different sets of twos because two plus two is four. So you can see I can take my pizza just like this and I can put, I'll go this way, I can put two half notes together to make that whole pizza. Pretty cool, huh? Now what if I am doing quarter notes? So to make all of my pizza, I would need four quarters. I would need four pieces of pizza to equal one whole pizza. Let's see if I can hold them all together here. All right, there they are. We've got four quarter notes together equal that whole note, equal one pizza. So four quarters of the pizza together equal one pizza. Now what about those eighth notes that we have been learning about? Well, two eighth notes together equal, two eighth notes together equal what? Do you remember? They equal a quarter note. So here you can see my eighth note by itself it's got that little flag. Now, if you put them together, they would be barred together. So I kept my two eighth notes together like this because two eighth notes together equal a quarter note. Ta-da! All right, so I can put these all together. Let's see if I can do this again. I can put all of these together to make one pizza. Pretty cool, huh? There it is, look at all those eighth notes to make my pizza. So now I can be creative and I can make pizzas in different ways and you can do this on your own as well. Get out a piece of paper and you can make your own pizza. So start with one big circle and see if you can cut it down into different groups to make a whole pizza. So let's say I decide I wanna start with half the pizza. So I would draw a line in the middle and I'd put my half note in there. Well, I know I need two more beats to make my pizza, so maybe I pull in a quarter note. So now I've got three beats, one, two, three. I've got one more sliver of my pizza that I need to do. I'm going to, to use eighth notes. Two eighth notes equal one beat. So there we go. I've got one, two, three, and four beats to make my pizza. Let's do one more. Let's say I decide that I want to start with some eighth notes. I'm gonna put my eighth notes here together. So I've got two eighth notes together, another two eighth notes together. Now I've got two beats left, I've got half of a pizza left. So I could do half of a pizza, a half note, or I could break it up and I could do a quarter note plus another quarter note. But in the end, the combination that I'm trying to make is a whole note, is a whole pizza. 
So this week's call of action is pretty easy. You need to watch the video, which we already did, so way to go. And then you are going to help me figure out how to make the pizzas just like we did. If you'd like a little bit more practice, you can go ahead and do this on your own and see if you can make some pizzas. Feel free to share them with me on Seesaw. But all you need to do for your call to action this week is to watch the video and work with me as I was putting my pizzas together and then go on to Seesaw and mark the assignment as done. Have fun!